Thanks for tuning in to No Wine in No Time. I'm your host Dave and today we're going to talk about a green skin white wine grape by the name of Tarantes. Tarantes has a long and storied history in the country of Spain in the Galicia area and it was often thought that that grape made its way to South America where it gained a lot of traction in Argentina. However, subsequent DNA testing found out that Spanish Tarantes and also Tarantes from South America are actually two different grapes and the South American Tarantes is actually native to that area. Now when we look at Tarantes from Argentina, there's actually three types. One is most important, the other two are kind of sub-grapes. And the first one is one called Tarantes San Juanino. Then we also have Tarantes Mendocino. And then finally, Tarantes Riojano. And the Riojano is actually the most important. It dominates the plantings at about 21,000 acres. And also, it's prized because of its incredible aromatic capabilities. Now, when we look at this Tarantes, um, it's grown at very high altitudes, sometimes between 5,000 and 10,000 feet above sea level. So really unheard of. So why would we grow it in that area? First off, the grape loves it. But secondly, we have an incredible diurnal temperature swing. Because a lot of times we're above the cloud line, we have incredible sunshine and very warm days, followed by very cool nights. And that change between day and night builds up a lot of acidity and balance in the wine itself, which creates a beautiful, more elegant type of wine. Now let's get back to talking about the aromatic qualities. Tarantes has often been kind of uh, put in the same breath as Muscat or Moscato, not because it's a sweet wine, but because of its aromatics and also Gewürztraminer. So when we look at those grapes, we think about things leaping out of the glass as far as aromatics and aromas are concerned. And Tarantes is that type of wine. So let's talk about what we might want to pair a Tarantes with. So when we think about food, we often think about Asian food, either um, Chinese or Indian type food, and even some Thai green curry uh, would be perfect with a wine like this. So if you haven't tried a Tarantes, I would encourage you to really go into your wine store and pick one up. They're very reasonably priced and really have exceptional qualities. The best are really well balanced with good acidity and quite well rounded. And if you do happen to get a poor one, you'll notice that maybe the alcohol is a bit higher and it can, can come across a little bit more bitter in the glass. So you be the judge. Let's take a look at the one I chose for you today. This comes to us from Zuccardi. So Zuccardi is the producer and it comes from the wine growing region of Salta in Argentina. So when we take a look at the wine in the glass, the first thing that we'll notice is it's very pale in its color. I wouldn't even call it straw yellow. It's just barely beyond clear or white. If we swirl to liberate the aromas, what leaps out of that glass is very beautiful white flowers. I smell things like hyacinth. I smell lily, a little bit of white lilac, really a beautifully aromatic wine. I also smell some fruits, things in there like white peach or nectarine. Let's go ahead and taste the wine. When the Tarantes passes by the palate, the first thing that we notice is on the front side, we get a little bit of, let's say, yellow fruits, almost somewhere between apple uh, and, may say, a yellow plum. And then as it reaches mid-palate, we feel that kick of acidity gets in. Our salivary glands really start to activate, and some of that floral notes come out on the mid-palate. On the back side, this wine is quite dry. It has a smooth finish and really a clean persona. So I'm gonna get back and enjoy a little bit of 
uh, Zucardi's Parantes, and I ask that you come back next time, because soon you'll know wine in no time.